You guys asked for it, and I'm here to deliver the torture test between two of the most popular drills on the market, the Compact Milwaukee versus the DeWalt. I've received hundreds of comments in the previous videos testing some of the cheaper tools on Amazon, but most of the, a lot of the comments that came in said, you know, we're not really interested in that. We want to see the tools that we're actually going to buy. Most people are not going to buy those low end tool, low end tools, or low end tools, and I get that. Probably, um, I think most people are going to agree for the for the consumer, the prosumer, uh, the Milwaukee tools, the Dewalt tools, the uh, Makita tools are all they're, they're all really nice. It's really really good stuff. They have a great great track record, and these right here are probably. Uh, going to be two of the big contenders. Now these are going to be in the entry level of the lithium batteries. So these are considered to be compact. They're smaller drills. They are traditional brushed motors. They're not the brushless motors, but they come in at a pretty good price point that's good for most guys. And they both of them are just excellent tools. I've used them around here, just kind of playing around a bit before we did this test. Now the DeWalt is going to come in at about uh, $99, and that gives you one battery at a charger. The Milwaukee, on the other hand, is a little bit more expensive. It was, I think, an extra 46, 40, it's roughly just under $150. So my question is, is there a $150 difference between the Milwaukee and the DeWalt? So let's take a look at the features really quickly, and then we'll get into the torture test, and we'll find out which one smokes and possibly catches on fire first. Let's take a quick look at these in stunning 4K. Man, it takes up a lot of hard drive space, but it looks really great. Okay, I'll we'll start with the Milwaukee. So just looking at these, and I'm not a super tool expert, but I am a user and I've used them all my life. And just from what I can see right here is that just little details in the Milwaukee that um, are kind of nice, uh, but that's kind of to be expected, I guess, because it's $50 more. We got a, looks like a metal chuck and maybe a plastic one here. Little things I noticed that, you know, Milwaukee, if you're gonna pay $150 for a drill, is it too much to ask to put a little stainless uh, uh, tool belt uh, clip on there? I have that on my, my Makita and I like that because I can hang it on my belt and get to it when I'm doing stuff. But uh, there is no clip. I don't know if it didn't get included or what the deal is. It's not in the case, but uh, you can see right there where it looks like it goes, there's a nice brass insert where on the DeWalt, um, I'm assuming this is for a clip here. It looks like it's ambidextrous. It goes both sides, but no plastic, no insert. It just screws into the plastic. Um, one thing I really like about the Milwaukee is it's uh, more compact. Look at that. It's a, it's a lot. I mean, there's must be a little over an inch, an inch and a quarter, maybe shorter. That's really nice for tight, confined areas. Both of them feel really good. Um, ergonomically, the, the forward reverse is easier. I don't know. I mean, that's really, we're really splitting hairs right there. They're not that bad. Both of them have uh, clutch chucks. We're going to go up to 16. Both of them go to 16. Um, low speed, high speed, a little bit shorter throw on this one. But overall, they look pretty nice. I'd have to, I guess, tip my cap uh, to the Milwaukee. It just, it feels better. Uh, it feels a little bit more solid. Um, I, I like it better. Like if I just to grab them, you know, which one like gives me the warm and fuzzy. Um, I do prefer the Milwaukee, but I don't dislike the DeWalt. They're both, they both seem to be pretty good. Now here are the chargers. Uh, both the cords are exactly the same length. The DeWalt charger is quite a bit smaller. The Milwaukee charger looks like it's got a, uh, an extra port there for, I think these are like maybe for some of the little smaller drivers. You could use it for two different types of batteries, which is nice. And also it turns green when it's charged. I like that better with the red, the DeWalt, I think it flashes when it's charging and it's a solid red, not a big deal, uh, but uh, pretty standard there. Nothing uh, too exciting about that. I do like, if I could have a smaller charger, I, I'd certainly prefer that. Of course, on the back they're set up so you can mount them to a wall on that one there. Both of them are the same way, but uh, Nothing new to report there. Regarding the batteries, the batteries now, the Milwaukee's gonna have an 18 volt battery with 1.5 amp hours, it says, and the DeWalt is exactly the same, but we have 20 volts. 20 volts also with a 1.5 amp hour battery. So I think that this is gonna be a pretty comparable test power-wise. So if you remember the torture test on the cheaper Amazon drills, uh, I had a hard time holding them. They had so much torque in them. Now these are way, way more powerful and I don't think that I have the strength to hold them. So 
this may or may not work. I've screwed two two by fours down to the workbench to, to help keep them to, uh, from spinning on me and put less strain on my, on my arms. So let's snap the batteries in here. One thing I noticed when I was playing with these is just the sound of it. You know, you can just, using all your senses, you can just hear the difference sometimes in these drills. Listen to the, listen, listen to the Milwaukee. Let's tighten that up so we get the rattle. Nice. It just has, Milwaukee has a more of a precise, Sound the gears sound better. Doesn't have quite such a a clunk when it comes to a, to the stop. All right. So here's what we're going to do. I've got a broken uh, three thirty second snap on punch that's um, got you know five sided right there, and that's going to what we're going to use to connect the two drills uh, because it won't slip on us in the chuck. So I'll chuck this up here. This is a tough old piece of steel here. That's not likely these drills are going to be able to break that. So we'll, oh goodness, those are powerful, powerful drills. Let's get this on here. Tighten these guys up, tight as I can get them. Now they should fit, the Milwaukee, Milwaukee's, oh, there we go, should fit nice and tight in there. So last time on the cheap drills, they, so much smoke came out of them that they almost poisoned me. So I'm going to I'm going to put a, a respirator on this time because I don't want to breathe that toxic Chinese smoke. And I'm also going to put some safety glasses on because I don't know what to expect with this. I see no downside to the safety glasses. All right. 